Welcome to the Boom Time Facebook group, uh, where I am going to go over the dream weekend information, obviously about the big launch of uh, Vibrise. So this is all outstanding. So I'm going to check a few things and let everybody uh, jump on board here. Make sure that I am live on here. Looks like I am. So perfect, perfect. And I'm about a minute early, so I'm going to talk for just a little bit. And I see everybody uh, jumping on here. So let me turn myself down and give you some updates. So I got my uh, got my phone over here so I can watch that. I see everybody. I see Rick and Gene. I see Ed on here. I see Paul coming on board. Uh, who else do I have on here? Go ahead and put your name and uh, where you're watching from. That would be cool. Frank, what's up? Good seeing you down there uh, in, uh, where were we? Fort Lauderdale. Christina, thank you very much. I'm going to give everybody just a couple minutes to come on here, but I will tell you this, you're going to be excited because I'm going to give you a, a really good understanding of what you have your hands on. This is going to be, uh, um, you know, I think this is obviously another game changer of the company. We might, we actually might get tired of saying the phrase game changer after a while with everything. I see Katrina. Good job. Paul, Ted Henry, buddy, Philip. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, Yvonne. Thank you. Kathy Butler. Uh, and so on. Also, just so you know, hey, Liz, thanks for being on here. Just so you know, you cannot share, um, you can't share this Facebook Live because it's private inside the Boom Time group. Okay, more than likely, I'll end up putting it on my YouTube channel and so on. But I just uh, wanted to give you guys some information first. Ty Star, Mike South, Anita, Mary Jo, Brett Larson, thanks, man. Uh, awesome jacket. Thanks, Liz. I appreciate that. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I got, I can't, I'm going backwards when I'm trying to touch myself looking at the screen here. Oh, and I got and I got some more for you underneath the underneath here. So uh, they had some killer swag down there, which was uh, fantastic. So watching the numbers roll in, you guys probably all got notifications and everything. Uh, and uh, we'll be we'll be good here shortly. So i um, very excited to be here. Be here. So let me just ramble for a, for a minute or so and then I'll, I'll jump right into this. But uh, um, I, I've had a crazy two weeks. I think a lot of you guys have seen my posts uh, that I married. I married off my daughter in Italy, which was crazy. I had to fly from Columbus. So here was my schedule over the last two weeks. I flew from Columbus to New York, New York to Rome, uh, Rome to Florence, Florence to uh, London, London to uh, New York, New York to Columbus. Then a day later, I, uh, I was home for one day. And then I flew to my uh, flew down to Fort Lauderdale and then, you know, from or went from Columbus to Fort Lauderdale and went to the event. Uh, jet lag was a complete understatement. Uh, hey, Tony. Hey, Frederick. I see you guys on there. Dr. Lorette, Sherry. Awesome. Awesome. Mark. Beatrice. Hey, great to have you on here as well. I know you're in South Africa. Uh, Teresa. Great. Bob Rogers on here. Fantastic. But uh, it was uh, it was awesome. The event was uh, fantastic. I tried to put a lot of information in there for you, uh, some pertinent information. And uh, obviously, I posted a lot of videos uh, and things like that. And I'm going to reference a few things in here. But um, I'm excited about uh, what I'm going to share with you tonight. So literally for the last few hours uh, and most of today, besides making phone calls and answering a lot of questions, I've been working on the PowerPoint that I want to show you guys tonight because I think it's going to do a very good job of sharing with you what we have our hands on with Vibe Rides. Uh, so I'm just watching the numbers crack, crank up. I'm going to give it maybe one more minute. I know I've, uh, I said that a, a minute ago, but I'm going to go give you one more minute and then I'm going to just jump right on this because I know uh, you guys should have gotten your notifications and so on. And then obviously, if you're watching this as a replay, um, you know, in the Boom Time group, make sure that you tag your people that you have in here if you didn't see them on here. <clears throat> or you don't know if they were on here uh, to begin with. So that's that's real important uh, that we do that, okay? So Urban from Thailand, wow, awesome, awesome. You're up late. Uh, no, wait, you're up early. It's nine o'clock. Uh, fantastic. Oh, and thank you, Dr. Lorette, for my really cool mug that you gave me down there. This says, in case you can't read that, it says, I'll read this to you. If you don't build your dreams, someone will hire you to build theirs. Uh, has a little rain, the, 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 the red, white, and blue things on there. So that was cool. So thank you, Dr. Lorette, for that. So who's ready and fired up to learn about Vibe Rides? Like, I, here's my new swag. They had all kinds of cool swag. But check this out. It's kind of a hoodie. So I'm going to drop this coat off of here right now. And I'm going to go solo on the, it's, it's like a, it's kind of like an athletic thing. 
you can kind of tell I got the gun show going on. See, and it's like the new cape. Anyhow, to not be totally cheesy, uh, it's all good. But um, so uh, I'm seeing all the stuff fire, fire up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on you guys. I'll look over here. I probably won't answer any questions immediately on here. Uh, you can save those for later. Later on, I'll probably watch a replay of this and then I'll, I'll go into some stuff. So um, I did test this a multiple times. So hopefully I will get this right uh, when I go. So I'm going to switch over to my uh, PowerPoint and we're going to jump right in this. I'm going to disappear, but you're just going to see the PowerPoint. So let me go solo on that. I'm going to pull up the boom time and I should be good right now. So I just gonna, I'm just going to double check that uh, I see it pop up on my screen and uh we'll be we'll be good to go i see more people coming on here michael thank you george uh awesome kim thank you for being on here uh excellent susan all right good looks like it came up i think there's about a 10 second delay on here so guess what time it is peeps it's boom time it is absolutely boom time and i am excited to share with you some current stats and then i'm going to just ro jump right into the content with you on here okay so, because I know there's a ton of new people that are that are just part of the company, uh, that are in part of our group and so on, and I want to go over these real quick. So, from pre-launch to right now, it's been approximately nine months. In that nine months, we've had over 55,000 TSAs. I think it's 130 countries now, but uh, I, I put 120. We've acquired over 295,000. I think on flight school, it might be closer to 297, but that's close enough, I would think. Um, we've done over $23 million in travel bookings already, and the company's paid out over $17 million in commissions to the field. And officially, believe it or not, we are really just only a little over, like a couple days over 90 days old. So that's just so you know, you're so in the right place at the right time. It's scary. Okay. Um, you are really seeing something in its infancy stage. Uh, that we are launching. Now, Dream Weekend was this weekend. And if you did not attend, I'm not upset at you, but I'm not going to let you get away with missing the event that I'm going to show you at the end, the National Convention, okay? Uh, but Dream Weekend obviously happened this weekend. A lot of us uh, went down there for it. Uh, I took a lot of great pictures. I think there was probably close to fifteen to 2,000 people that came down here. Friday night was the, the Vibe launch and so on. And to me, it was really, really cool to run into a lot of you guys uh, that, that that took the uh, opportunity to come down there, take your chance, jump on there. I got a lot of different photos. I posted most of the photos in the Boom Time group, so I would recommend you go through and just check it out. It's pretty cool. I tried to just pull a few. Obviously, I couldn't pull all of them in here, um, but it was really, really awesome that we had the opportunity to. Uh, you know, to meet everybody again and refresh what we got. You know, some of, sometimes it's these big events that get us together. It's the only time I get to see you guys actually face to face and hug you and things like that. Now, this slide to me, I had to put it in here because as I was walking through the crowd, understand that they have the the the, the sound system turned up to an absolutely uh, probably close to 100, 100 plus decibels in there. And I walk by and I see this older gentleman with his uh, fingers in his ears. And it was too funny uh, for me not to post this uh, picture in here. <laughs> so I just, I took a quick selfie with it, but anyhow, I thought it was pretty funny and it was cool after, after the event, uh, best, best we could do. We tried to gather a few people up here and there. Uh, obviously there was uh, people were spread out in different hotels. There were people down here on my team that I did not know were coming. Uh, but I ended up, uh, you know, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, everybody that's showing up and stuff like that. Just understand that I will be I will be way more organized for the Houston event. As you guys probably are aware, like I said, I married off my daughter and that was my 100% of my focus and I wasn't going to miss that. Okay, I figured you guys are all adults. You'll figure it out. The other really, really cool thing that happened was we had the ability on the Sunday night to take that yacht cruise. It was a $40 million yacht. There was close to 600 people on it. Uh, it was absolutely the coolest thing. Uh, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life to be able to do that. They fed us. They had, I mean, they had all kinds of stuff. They had an open bar. They, they, they had salmon. They had the prime rib, you know, and, and this was actually a picture from the ship uh, as we were uh, getting ready to kind of come back in. And just, to, and we, you know, we kind of just hovered the coastline. And these are experiences, like I said, 
there are a lot of you guys that went there that were able to get, capture some really, really good, uh, you know, photos and stuff like that that you're going to be able to use uh, from, you know, from here on out. So all that being said, who's ready to hear about the Vibride thing? Okay, so uh, I'm going to keep talking because I know you guys can hear me, uh, but you can't see me. But I want you to see the intensity on the look on my face. And what it represents is I need you to be fully, fully aware that this is a brand new opportunity that just rolled out for our company and you had better put your patience pants on, okay? Because there will be a lot of uh, issues that will need to be worked out and ironed out. That is the actual car they had at the event. It is a uh, wrapped Tesla, it's really, really cool, okay? Um, you know, we got to take pictures with it. It was driving down. What was funny is I caught a, um, I caught a, a actually a lift from my hotel to that and pulled up and it was right next to me. I thought that was pretty, pretty amazing uh, just to see that kind of cruising through there. Okay. So what's going to happen too is the slides I'm about to show you. Uh, they, the corporate has not released the slides from the event. All of us have been asking. They're going to be putting in different, a new presentation together. So we'll be able to get that. Uh, and so on. So this, the next few slides were really just uh, photos that I took from my phone off the big uh, big screen. OK, so just so you know what you're about to look at. OK, now what is Vibrides? I'm going to give you an overview. More than likely, you've heard a little bit about it right now. Uh, what they're going to do is they're really going to kind of create a different uh, paradigm, I guess, a paradigm shift in the ride share industry. They're going to do different things to where you can get additional safety. You're going to be able to choose your vibe is what they talked about. Okay. Some these are some of the things that will happen as this thing continues to evolve. You'll be able to choose the vehicles. You'll be able to, you'll be able to, when you click on the app as a rider, you will be able to choose your vehicle, the temperature you want in the car when you get there, the music that's playing, whether you want to have a conversation, whether you want to use a route, I mean, they've really, really thought about some very, very unique, uh, unique ways to create this uh, for a rider experience uh, that's going to be very unique. The other thing that they really uh, uh, did hit home on a lot was the additional safety. And they have a thing out there they're calling girl power uh, that that is, uh, you know, for women, obviously, uh, you'll be able to choose whether you get a male or a female driver if you wanted to. It'll be able to track your route for other people can see your route. Uh, you know, there's and, and they have these same features they'll have for the drivers because there were a, there were a, there were women drivers uh, that I picked that, that picked me and my wife up on the lift. And, uh, you know, that that's you know, we asked them, you know, hey, because it was like uh, two o'clock in the morning with the one or actually no, it's three. It, yeah, it was two thirty in the morning when they picked me up for the last one when we got off the cruise ship. And, uh, you know, we were asking them questions and stuff like that. And, and, you know, does it get rough or anything like that? And, and so this is another feature that they're adding for driver safety as well. In addition to that. Now, I didn't know this, but you're getting a quick understanding that the rideshare industry is really, really growing very, very fast. It's fairly new, obviously, uh, just like a lot of things are fairly new. I mean, there's a lot of things that didn't exist 10 years ago that are now multi-billion dollar markets and companies. If you think about it, Netflix, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, these these companies, most of these companies didn't even exist just a few years ago. OK, so so think about what's happening. And the rideshare industry is one of those things. I mean, obviously, we all know it started with Uber um, and they were kind of first to market. But understand that there will always be people that come in and see, you know, that, that blaze the trail are the brand. But there will be people and companies that come in behind that that are able to capitalize on this. OK, that's what's going to happen now. Going along with why this is such a good thing for our company. And I hope to, hopefully I'll remember to say this multiple times so it sticks in your head is my one of my important one of the things that I, uh, that I was so excited about to see this quick launch of vibe so quickly in our company's uh, beginning stages was that it, it, it basically did what we said it was going to do and not and not pigeonhole us into being branded as a travel company. Like I've said, and a lot of you that are new on here, you haven't heard me say this, but what I wanted to tell you and most of the time is we are a technology company. Okay, we are a technology company. 
we will have multiple what they call verticals. Verticals would be just different services. So if you hear that phrase, that's what that means. We are a company that will have multiple verticals, okay? Transportation is the perfect one to add into the travel space. That transportation industry is one point trillion by itself already. Now there's a thing, now what's cool is this is something I learned this weekend. I did not know what this meant, so I pulled it up off of Google and I put a little thing on top of it. There's a thing going on right now called the gig economy uh, because again, the markets have shifted. There's different things. People aren't making you know long-term incomes in their jobs or careers like they used to before. And what gig economy means is you can read that down there, a labor market characterized by the prevalence of short-term contracts or freelance work as opposed to permanent jobs. One of the, uh, what was really cool is I hadn't, I've only used maybe two lifts uh, in my life. And I used, we, Stacy and I took probably 10 this weekend. And what was neat was the fact that we got to see how experience at firsthand, what it was. And every single person that we talked to about Vibe wanted information and wanted to sign up. Think about that for a second. When was the last time you had a, a, anything you'd ever done in any kind of business that 100% of the people said, yeah, I want I want more information if they hadn't already heard from the, you know, the other person. But what, what it was with people are looking for other ways to supplement their income and some people just choose to be drivers, okay? Now, what's gonna happen is this, okay? So this is where the rubber meets the road. There's three ways to earn. And I'm gonna walk you through setups. I'm gonna walk you through some of this stuff tonight. Uh, so you'll know this. But the three ways to earn in the bottom left is you have, somebody has the ability to earn when they when you drive, okay? So somebody could just be a driver, okay? You can earn when others drive, which, which what that means is you could recruit somebody to be a driver and earn off of that person driving. Or you also could earn when a customer rides. So let's recap that. A person could be a driver, Yes, they could obviously be an iBoomerang TSA slash rep, but let's, as you know, to keep it simple here, a person could just be a driver and earn money. You could refer a driver and make money off of all the drives that that person does. And you could have the ability to earn when you refer a customer to ride. If you think about this, for instance, it's, it's, a, it's amazing. It's incredible the size of the potential here of what we have with this with the travel space. Now, for a driver, listen closely. I want you guys, please, please, please pay attention when I'm going through these slides because I'm not going to repeat myself in most cases. 75% of the base fare for drivers after their first 50 rides each month is what they're going to get. The important thing about that is this is a bigger percentage than what they get with Uber, Lyft, or any of the other smaller ones that are out there. This is one of the things that they were very excited about having the ability to tap into, okay? Now, this was a slide, and I don't know if you can see this very well. If you're watching on your phone, you probably can't. Uh, computer, maybe. Uh, but let me uh, see if I can pull my mouse up real quick. Okay, so if you look right here at the top, this is, a, let's say somebody took a $100 fare, how it would be broken down, okay? Right here, you'll see if, if you were the driver, you would earn $75 off of that $100 fare, okay? The person who referred the driver, this is what this slide means, the person who referred this driver would make $3.12 off of that $100 fare that the driver did. You always want to give the bulk of the money to the person doing it, right? But because you just referred the driver, this is off of just one drive, one fare that, you know, that could be that day, right? And $3.25 goes into what they call the drive share pool, meaning all of the, the that money right there portions and goes gets paid upline to people who have done, you know, referred the driver refer kind of thing. The same thing happens over here. The rest of the money, the rider, if somebody goes in and the rider that gets into this car, okay, the person who referred that rider will make three three dollars and ten you know twelve cents off of that hundred dollar fare and the other three dollars and twelve cents would go into the ride share pool so if you add up the three the three the three and the three 
it's about 12 and a half percent that's going uh, in the upline is how that breaks down. So real quick, one more time, if you're the driver and somebody spent a hundred dollars on their drive, so they went maybe a few, you know, a few miles, you would make 75 bucks off the hundred. The additional $12 of that or 1250 or whatever it is goes three, three twelve to the driver refer whoever referred the driver, the per, the rest of it goes into the pool for the upline Whoever referred the rider gets paid $3 and the rest of that ride money goes there too. Okay. So that's kind of how that breaks down. So 12 and a half percent of every ride into the drive share goes, it goes into the drive share program. If you think about the significance and the amount of money that, um, you know, can be paid on this on a daily basis, that's, you know, the, the income that can be generated on a daily basis, it's, it's, it's hard to comprehend. Okay. There, there's people that right now, right now, some of you who aggressively go after this, uh, a year from now, you're just going to be dumbfounded that the money you're going to have coming in. Okay. Now let's switch gears. We're going to switch gears. So those two concepts right there were basically a driver could make some money and you could make some money on that. One of the other things someone could do is a driver, what we could say, could participate or a person, one of us could do the same thing. You could actually create a driver fleet. It's just what we're doing right now. Like we're building an organization of travel, you know, customer gatherers kind of thing. You can also build your rider base. Okay. Now, if you think about this, so this is a slide and remember every flight, every flight school, I promise you this Saturday's flight school will go over this. Okay. Saturday's flight school, more than likely they'll go over a lot of this. But a Vibe Overdrive Ambassador, so that's what they're going to call them, Vibe Overdrive Ambassador. If this was you as a, an over, Overdrive Ambassador, okay? So let's say, you, let's say you're watching this because I know a few of you are. Uh, you're a current driver and you see this as an opportunity and you sign up as an Overdrive Ambassador, okay? And well, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And you went out and got three drivers and that, and you had 10 riders that you had signed up. Understand this is something really, really powerful. Like, I'm glad I remembered this. Once you sign up a customer, regardless of where that customer travels throughout the world, anywhere that there's the ability to use a vibe ride, if they become a customer or use it, you're getting paid. Think about that for a second. That'll keep you up at night. Right. But as an example, if you got three drivers and 10, 10 riders and that duplicated three who got three, who got three, who got three, seven generations, that'd be over 3000 drivers that equaled if each, if each driver maintained 20 riders as just customers, that's 32,000 riders in your customer base. If the average ride was only $15, mine averaged about 15 bucks and I went about three miles on my, on my rides with tip and all that stuff. Right. But, but let's say average $15, a driver that built an organization of this right here would earn an additional above and beyond anything out of, of that on the drivers and that on the riders for a total of nearly $150,000 a year without them driving. But there's a lot of them that will probably continue to drive. Okay. So if you think about this, Literally, we rolled in another company kind of basically inside of our already amazing company. Okay. This is just, this is just in addition and on top of everything else that's out there. Okay. Now, uh, if somebody, and I'm, I'm going to explain this to you, so I'm going to go slow, but if somebody just, just wanted to be an overdrive, what we call an overdrive ambassador, vibe override drive ambassador from scratch, they're not in iBoomerang. Okay. They're just, you just found them and they just said, Hey, this looks good. I want to be, uh, uh, you know, I want to join as an overdrive ambassador. They would pay the $49 business registration and they would pay the $200 for the overdrive drive pack, which comes with, and I know you probably can't see that, uh, comes with their background check, vehicle inspection, 75% uh, of the distance and charges after the 50 drivers and boomerangs for them to gather customers as well and an entire vibe fleet management system. Okay. So that's how that works. If somebody chose to just only 
become a Vibe Override Ambassador. Now, how do you sign up Vibe drivers? Okay, let's say they're just, you're just, you're running to somebody, you're in the car, you caught an Uber, you caught a Lyft, and you want to talk to somebody, okay? Here's how simple it is. In your back office, where you usually normally trigger your boomerangs, create your boomerangs and stuff, uh, changed. There is now a thing in here called type of boomerang, okay? You're going to see this looks different. The other thing that I will uh, tell you is right now, uh, you can't necessarily generate uh, group codes for boomerangs. What you're going to do is you go in here and under type of boomerang, you click on it and it will give you to where you're going to either make a code for a travel customer, a vibe rider, or a vibe driver. You can't get customers right now because we don't have any drivers yet. So just ignore Vibe Rider. It's going to be a while. Vibe Driver is how you would get somebody to send them a code. You just put their name, just like we've always normally done. Same thing with the expiration and generate code. If you have any questions, you can always click right here in your back office. This is hyperlinked and a pop-up will come up. Now, here's, what's, here's how this works, okay? You're going to still send everybody that you sign up for an iGo code or a driver code will still always go to iGoBoom.com, but the page now looks different. The codes that they've created, the boom, the the uh, the the travel codes, the the boomerangs that we have now in the back office, are smart codes. So if you generate one through Vibe, it'll take them to the Vibe area. If you generate one for iGo, it'll take them to the iGo place, but we still only have to drive everybody to iGoBoom.com. So nothing changed. You still make a code like you normally did. You just add it to iGoBoom as you normally would, except the page just looks different, okay? So that's how you sign up customers. Now, let's talk about how to sign up a Vibe Driver TSA. Now, what this means, and that's what the ambassador is. I forgot that they had the phrase, but I put in Driver TSAs just so we can understand this. What I'm showing you is just solely if a person only wanted to sign up as a Vibe Driver, uh, uh, you know, ambassador, a Vibe Driver ambassador, the over, Overdrive ambassador, okay? What they do is you would send them to vibeoverdrive.com. Okay, vibeoverdrive.com. It will ask for the sponsor's name. So you would give them your name, okay? And then when they put your name in there, so somebody, if this, I'm using this as an example, they would click it and they would find Mike Healy, city I live in, they'd select it and they would know that that's me. Once they've selected that I'm going to be your sponsor, They'll then fill this information out. I probably should have changed the name because this is, uh, you know, this is me giving the example, but I just, uh, I had the default settings and I just clicked it and did it. Okay, so my sponsor would be Mike Healy. And if this said Jane Smith filling this out, once they click, or they fill this out, they click on this. What then happens for that person that wants to be in Vibe Overdrive cus or TSA They'll then go, they'll then get, just like we normally do when we sign TSAs up, they'll get a verification of a seven digit code texted to them in their, uh, on their cell phone, the mobile device that they put in there. Then once they click submit, it then will take them to this page where they then can get those. And if they want to continue, they click on add to cart. It takes them there where they fill out the information like they normally would, like anybody knows how to do, and boom, they are now in your uh, area, okay? They're now set up. The other thing is, is the Vibe Drive app for drivers only, for drivers only, uh, is, is available that for them to download. Now, okay, so good news, bad news, what's coming? Good news is, and this is a terrible photo, but it's as good as it gets. Somebody else sent it to me. Um, they'll have QR codes, things like that, that you'll be able to hand out, or a driver themselves will have a QR code, and they'll be able to just get customers to be customers for life. 
and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's all kinds of cool things. And in fact, they'll be able to put these QR codes on cars and people will be able to come right up and cue, you know, and take a screenshot or QR it and it will, uh, it'll add the information automatically. The other thing I want to tell you is there is a Vibe Rides Facebook page. I'd recommend that you, you, you uh, sign, you know, go like that page so that when they make notifications and stuff, you'll be able to go on here. So this will be separate from the iBoomerang page, but again, it's all under the same ecosystem or umbrella. Okay. So real important, uh, sign, sign up for that. Now, good news, bad news, good news, bad news. Who's ready for that? The good news is this thing's ready to roll. It's rolled out. We are not a, just a travel company. We are going into another vertical. The bad news, good news is it is available in Miami, Tampa, and Orlando. And in case you didn't know it, Miami has over 400,000 people that live there. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, I think, has 200,000. Tampa has nearly 400,000. Orlando has over 300,000. I looked it up before I got on this call. Okay, so those are massive markets to do to do this. These are currently the only cities that people can sign up as drivers and actually will be able to drive. Okay, you can sign up a driver in, uh, let's say, uh, North Dakota, but they probably won't be able to get anything set up or at, at all at, in, in any case. Okay. But right now, they're focusing on the Miami, Tampa, and Orlando. And if you didn't know this, as I'm recording this on, I think today's the 10th of December, that uh, this week there are events going on, presentations, I believe, tonight uh, in Tampa and Orlando, I think the next day, or, or it already happened, something like that, okay? The other thing is, February, there will be another Vibe launch in Houston, Texas, obviously they're going to then open up the Texas market. Houston, as well as Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex area, all these things are about to open. Okay. Now, if you're forward thinking, you could obviously recruit people in these in these these places. Uh, you know, get the pre-launch going, that kind of thing. And if somebody does sign up with those those packages and so on, it will pay out the commission. There's there's a hundred dollars. Uh, of that, uh, of, of commissionable volume from the thing that goes in there. Okay. Orlando's on thurs Thursday, by the way. Thank you, Liz, for that one. Okay. So, uh, so we got the Miami, Tampa, Orlando, February launch in Houston. Now, the one thing you need to know about me, and I try to train on this, is that how I typically will answer questions, or I've always tried to answer questions is I ask myself, is there a tool that, or is there a tool that answers that? The reason I believe this is very important is I believe it's very, to build a big network marketing business and create uh, duplication, quote unquote, that a lot of people throw around, but really don't know what it really means and never create anything that's actually duplicatable because I don't believe people are, dupl people are not duplicatable, but systems are. I always try to create tools and systems that help people duplicate immediately, meaning you don't have to know anything. Because I'm always, if there's a tool or something that happened that somebody said, I'll create a video of that, okay? You should always be looking for that. Now, why is this so powerful if you, if you follow my lead on this? Is that when you have things that you can send somebody, they can do the same thing. When somebody asks you a question, you should ask yourself what does, what will answer that question for somebody. Yes, I know a lot of this stuff, but I always answer in tools because it helps explain the story better. Okay, how's the vibride thing work? Well, I made that that one video with the green screen. You know, how do you how do you recruit in this thing? I made that marketing funnel one. These these videos right here are both inside the Boom Time group, and both of those videos are on my on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. Okay. So I'm always answering questions with tools and systems. Okay. That's just how, that's how, how it works. Okay. Okay. I made this slide. Uh, I put the Lord of the Rings logo in there. So it's, uh, it's trademarked and hopefully I don't, you know, anything, but this is, this to me was so cool. This is one of my favorite things that they announced at the event. Okay. So I'm moving on from where we were at but they are actually giving out these huge 
um, rings. Obviously, they're going to make women's ones too, but these obnoxious, huge income earner rings that will start when you earn $100,000 in, in iBoomerang, okay? And they're going to start giving them out, they said, at the February event. So they have a they have a hundred thousand dollar ring that has a few diamonds in it, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar ring, and they have a five hundred thousand dollar ring, and this one is the million dollar club ring. Okay, why I like the ring more than more than anything that I've seen so far, to be honest, is this is what this is the level playing field right here, because titles can come and go. But income is is what really sets people apart. Okay, like I'm not into this for titles. I'm into this for checks. Okay, just so you know, because checks pay the bill, pay the bills. So we're I'm going to talk to you about this. Okay, because I'm I'm about done here. If you can hang with me for a few more minutes. Okay, and they do have women's and and they also have a silver version of that, not just gold, but they made it to where you can get like a white silver. It's they were so sharp, and I I hope I can get a better graphic on that. But they are so cool. February 21st and 23rd. The 21st is a Friday, 22nd, Saturday, 23rd is a Sunday. Those will be all day events. More than likely Friday will probably just be like an, an evening event, uh, probably similar to what they did with Vibe where they did the big launch evening event. Okay. You could come in on Friday morning, uh, you know, if you wanted to. I will be there on Thursday. I will be there on Thursday fairly early in the morning. I think I'm going to probably land probably around uh, before noon. I think I know my wife told me a couple hours ago, uh, but that that's that's where we're at. OK, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be very organized on this. This, too, by the way, Okay, I want to I got a lot of plans for this. I mentioned this on the last conference call, but I wanted to get this in your heads. Here's what you need to understand there could be a chance this thing could sell out. I'm not, I'm not, I know that sounds weird, but they've already sold more tickets than people were in attendance, which were nearly 6,000 at the Vegas event. Those have already been sold. Okay. Do not under any circumstances procrastinate. Okay. I'm going to jump, uh, jump screens on you here. I'm going to go back to solo and I'm going to take my, these are my wife's glasses, but I had them on. So hopefully you can see me again. I might make, make sure. Do not, under any circumstances, hesitate to buy your ticket as soon as possible and book your hotel as quick as possible. There's a handful of hotels in the vicinity of that, that, that facility, okay? Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Uh, I cannot emphasize enough the significance of going to events. And I'm going to hammer it. And I've got some special things up my sleeve that I'm going to be working on for people who make the commitment to get in there, to get to that event. Because when you can get a, because I, I, this is not an exaggeration. I built a very good size organization already in, in the company through all of the, you know, everybody's efforts, right? I've done it hundred percent online. No kidding. I haven't done a single person, an in-person presentation, hotel meeting or home meeting. Amazing. Okay. But there is no substitute for a face-to-face -face interaction and building a relationship. There is no substitute for that. And when we can go down there as a group, and I want to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you uh, from my team down there, okay, that are in that event, because you will, you'll set your business so far ahead, it won't even be funny. And I'm telling you, They've all they always have done stuff for people that have come to these events. Holton rewards the right activity. Holton rewards the right activity. The right activity is is getting to an event like this. The other thing, too, is they're going to release other services. There are some other announcements that are going to happen there that you want to have on film. You want to have you want to see the live expressions of people's faces when their checks go through the roof. For nothing more than an announcement, okay. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that's uh, that's about to occur at that at, the, at that Houston event, okay. Like I said, they literally have sold more tickets already than were attendance. I bought my Stacy and I when we were sitting in Vegas when they made the announcement said it's live. Stacy had our pick ticket purchased five minutes from that, 
That's what leaders do. That's what leaders do. And you should have a goal of how many people you want there. Okay. And, and like literally the majority of people that ever go to an event like that, if they really, really grab, grab what's there and they, they get to meet the people and take the photos, build businesses. They, they typically, they typically do. Okay. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I, I don't ever sugarcoat anything. I don't need you to be there. The people that I want to be there that want to be there will be there kind of thing. Right. But I'm just telling, I'm just giving you advice from success. And I've told this story uh, and I'll tell it more, uh, again and again, 10 years ago, I quit network marketing hundred percent. I was done. You could shoot, you could shoot me in the head before I would let you get me in a company, but I ended up reluctantly joining one, did it on the side just to kind of keep a guy quiet, leave me alone. Um, and they talked me into going to one of the events. I, I went, I flew out to the event. I uh, didn't have enough money really to do anything. I sat there in the back of the room like this with my arms folded, was like, man, what am I doing here? These guys are crazy. Well, then the next thing you know, I heard a couple people's stories, a couple testimonies. I started thinking, I started leaning forward. And within two days of the event, it was like a weekend event. I went back to my room, prayed about some stuff and said, hey, if this is what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to go for it. And one year later, a year later, I came back to that same event, spoke on stage, was over a $10,000 a month earner and just really just rocketed. CEO talked about how my growth was and I did. And I, this was pre Mike Healy, as you know him today. This was nobody knows Mike's name. A couple people did. I did a little bit, you know, no real experience. But it was it was that event that blew on that little uh, spark of hope that had been in there a long, long time ago from the time that I bought into the dream. Uh, but I but I but I did it. OK, I, I bought into it and I jumped on board and I went to the thing. And I ended up making over a million dollars with that opportunity back then. Okay. So I'm just telling you, I'm not guaranteeing that if you go to the event, you're going to do that, but I'm just telling you, you're going to set yourself up for success. Um, so what would I plan on doing? Okay. So kind of here's your marching orders and let me, let me slow down for just a second. I got a bunch of stuff going through my head. You can probably smell the smoke is um, I'm going to consistently throughout December, all the way into to the January, I'm going to work my butt off. Okay. I had my vacation and my, my holiday basically when I went to Italy. Okay. Yes. I'm going to enjoy Christmas. Yes. I'm going to enjoy, you know, New Year's, but I'm not stopping because this is, this train is rolling with or without people. Okay. This is a global opportunity. There are people that work are working this very, very hard. What you can, what you can accomplish in, in, in uh, launching your business, if you haven't really, or really getting it really going from now until that event uh, will pay dividends down the road. Like literally, if I told you that if, if you know that, that if I told you that if you build an organization of 50 people, okay, if you don't have that now, 50 people in your organization by then, that you would be guaranteed making six figures a year, would you do it? Okay, you know, you have to put these things in your head. You have to put these things in your head that force you to get out of your comfort zone, to do things that are not necessarily comfortable. That's why you get out of a comfort zone because the money's made outside of that comfort zone and you go and get that. Okay. But I, but I wanted to, I want to tell you this is that be patient with the vibrate thing because they're there. It's brand new. Okay. Do not stop enrolling uh, travel customers. In fact, I would put a bigger emphasis on that because those same customers are going to be monetized. Those those same customers you sign up as TSAs, I can pretty much guarantee you they're going to probably end up getting information about becoming Vibride customers that are going to fall under you, you know, under you as well. And I'm telling you that there's a very good chance at that event in February that they're going to they're they're going to have the app ready to where customers will be able to refer customers. And the reason I say that is Holton said it multiple times. And I, you know, I, there were maybe even going to do it back in back a while ago, but I think that's a thing that could potentially happen. Now I'm not, you can't, I can't back that up or anything like that, but I, I but here's what they do is they, they, there's a thing in business called a PDCA, a, P, a PDCA is a plan, do, check and adjust PDCA plan, do, check and adjust. Any successful business person does this. Holton is thinking so many different ways and, and things. It's just, it's just incredible. Okay. But when you do something, you plan what you're going to do, you do it, you check your results, then you make your adjustments. 
Okay, you should do that in any any business. You should always think about that. You plan what you're going to do. You do it. Check your results and make adjustments accordingly. That's what's happening with the company. That's what's going to continue to happen because they're going to keep adding services, more verticals. I mean, we haven't even nobody even mentioned Boom Mobile at that event, even though we all talked about it in Vegas and it was huge, right? That'll probably roll out roll out on the fifth in February. Uh, the other stuff that they've already had planned is going to roll out there. Think of the things that people do or spend money on in the travel space. Could be any number of things that could potentially be in it. And by then, by then, there is a good chance that if you include the dry, you know, drivers and potentially maybe driver customers by by then in, in those localized markets, the Miami markets, the Florida markets, um, you know, we could be topping half a million. 700,000, maybe even a million customers by then. That gives our company leverage of people that are have the ability, you know, that the company will be able to have other services just jump right on board with us and give us the best deals so that he can help you. Some of you on this thing have no idea the money that you're about to make if you choose to do it. And I know, you know, a lot of people get offended about making money, but I always ask them, hey, where do you shop? Because takes, you know, I've noticed it takes a lot of money to, to make money. And here's the cool thing about, uh, about uh, this opportunity. Uh, and, and, and I'll give you some tips. Okay. I never, ever stop recruiting because you can't tell the duds from the studs, the zeros from the heroes. The most important training I ever heard was the very first one I ever went to in 1997 when I drove 10 hours one way to Atlanta. When these guys were building a business, they were making $30,000 a month and was, they were doing it every weekend. And the one hillbilly down there that was making $35,000 a month said, you can't control how many tomatoes a tomato plant produces. You can only control how many tomato plants you plant. I never forgot it. I still have the notes to this day on that. And that, cha that changed. That, that is something I've always remembered. Just because you enroll somebody does not mean you go into manager mode if you want to make big money. You should cons constantly be out there looking for new people. If your business isn't growing, I guarantee you the only thing that will, the, the new blood is the lifeblood, okay? If I sign somebody up and I sign another one and another one, another one, somebody's going to just raise their hand. Like I've got one person that signed up with me that I have, that that I sent them, some, that they saw some information, they enrolled, and we've never had one single conversation and they put people in almost every single day, Okay. I put a handful of other people in that were excited, but just didn't lift a finger and didn't do anything. Do I wait? Do I nurture? Do I hope that person is going to turn into the, the, the next diamond? Of course not. You got to stay the course. You got to do this. If you want to build a business, if you just are on this to get customers, that's fine. Okay. I'm just talking from the next level. I'm just telling you, if you want to make that six figures a month, it's going to, it's going to take leverage. You're, it would, it'll, it'll be a lot speedier journey to get customers. Uh, to build a customer base if you're leveraged, right? Okay. So if, if I was you, I would focus on introducing new people to this as quick as possible, as hard and as fast as you can. Make your goals, okay? It's not that hard to get promoted to, to the director, to Sapphire, if you really work this thing in a 12, to, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a one month period, okay? That's where they run the promotions. You'll thank me of, for giving you the, the tough love here to be promoted to that next level when you get to, to the Houston event, okay? They always do a phenomenal job of recognition. And I tell you what, there is nothing to me more painful than sitting in the audience um, wanting to be on stage for something and I'm not there yet. It sucks. I hate it, right? Okay, but if you have that burning desire that you're going to do it and you just make the commitment, and you start saying, what if, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I did this? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay. You're going to get to those. You're going to get to those levels. You're going to go, go build a business bigger and faster than you, you would imagine. I've seen this movie, by the way. Okay. I have seen companies that weren't even close to what this is. We look like we're 10 years old and we're 90 days old. But I've seen this movie. There are people that got in and applied themselves and went to work and, 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 and participated and went to the events and so on and built their belief and just kept in doing the little, you know, I would, you know, the, I, I think I can, I think I can. What's that little choo-choo train? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. 
I know it could, I know it could, it could, you know, I did it, I did it, that kind of thing. It, it's, it's, pre, you know, diamonds are created under pressure. Understand this isn't going to be in a walk in the park to be a diamond, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Your family's going to thank you. Ah, that was what it was. Speaking of family thankful, I, I, I knew there was a thought that I had and it came back to me. <clears throat> I, you know how they always talk about the, the good parties, the get out of debt. I got one for you that's even better. Don't go into debt to begin with. Do you know how expensive it is for a father, for a, uh, a, a, a destination wedding in Italy? Anybody got any idea, right? It's not that cheap. But but believe it or not, we have been able to take the money we've earned from iBoomerang and every month Stacy's taking a portion of it and paid towards something, paid towards something, paid towards something, paid towards something. And pay and we paid for the whole thing through iBoomerang. I might need you, I might need you guys to go sign up a whole bunch more. So like no. <laughs> but but think about that. Okay. There was there, I mean. My daughter was, my daughter's amazing. Okay. And I know if you've got kids, you understand, you understand where I'm coming from. Okay. You can't, if you don't have kids, you don't understand the, the, you know, that kind of parental love, I guess you could say, but there was nothing I wouldn't do for my daughter. Right. You know, and I, she married a really awesome, awesome guy. It's not like somebody I got to go, you know, uh, the body's got to come up missing or anything. He's awesome. He's a great, great, great guy. Okay. But you know, there's nothing a father or a or mother wouldn't do for their kid, right? There's nothing you wouldn't do. And sometimes maybe your why is not big enough to drive you. Maybe, maybe you should put your why on somebody else helping somebody else. Okay. A lot of times that that's, that's the switch that has to flip. Um, but I knew that, I knew that if I just worked and worked and worked and recruited, because, because uh, everybody that you basically sign up as a TSA at the first class, uh, if you put them in your lesser leg, it's 200 bucks to you, right? I just did math. It's not magic. It's just math. I just thought of how much, how much do I have to have come in? How many people do I have to recruit, you know, to continue to get that money coming in to pay for, pay for airline tickets for my family, pay for caterers, pay for the rooms, pay for, you know, all this stuff, you know, all the decorations, everything. But man, was it worth it. And it's such an amazing story. And it, and it was, it was phenomenal. And I mean, I got to cry like a baby and it was great. OK, but it was worth it. But here's the thing is I want you to I want you to listen to me real quick. I believe you can do it. I'm just talking to the one person that wants to hear me right now. I believe you can do this. Is it going to be tough? Yes. Are you going to run into the naysayers? Yes. Are you going to run into more people that want to stay where they're at, settle with settle with what they currently have? even though they're not having much fun uh, or do you want to go make a difference? Do you want to change? Do you want to go to that next level? Okay. It's going to take personal growth. It's going to take getting out of your comfort zone. It's going to be taking, doing things that are uncomfortable, uh, you know, and it's going to be doing things when no one's watching. That's the hardest thing is the discipline to do things when no one's around to applaud you. That's the hardest thing that I had to learn how to do. Was when, you know, everybody can, like when I went to the, when I went to the event this weekend, because everybody sees my YouTube videos, I think I trained the company. I think I trained everybody in the company. Everybody was coming up to me saying, oh, I love your videos. Thank you very much. And that's great. And I got to take pictures of everybody and it made me feel all warm and fuzzy. But when I come home and I'm by myself, I got to do the same things everybody else has to do. I'm just a normal guy that just wants this as bad as anybody and I want you to have it because it's more to me, it's going to be more satisfying to watch you walk across stage than when I walk across stage. OK, because I because hopefully I'll be able to uh, you'll be able to say, hey, something you said contributed to me, at least not quitting. Something contributed to me. At least that's the satisfaction I get out of this. Uh, you know, that's why I like to do the trainings. That's why I like to do these things, uh, because it, it's it's awesome. OK, I'm telling you, you can do it. I have met too many people with so little skill, so little credibility, so little influence that stayed the course, worked on personal development that became some of the top producers of of the of today's day, you can't even imagine. Okay? That's why this that's why I say I've seen this movie before. Okay? It just 
I just know how it works. I know how people can do this and you can, you can do this. Okay. So don't miss this train because it is rolling and it is a bullet train. Okay. You have the ability. So make some commitments to yourself that you're going to work this thing. You're not stopping because of holidays. Okay. You can, you can play at the next, you can, you can take the next one off. I'm just telling you, this is not the time to take off the pedal because you've got this short window of timing that people are going to get the, the people that do work it during this time are going to get those customers. They're going to get those drivers. You're going to get those TSAs. You want to be one of those people. Okay. So all that being said, uh, you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for being on here. Uh, man, I had, this was the biggest turnout I've had for a Facebook live. I know I did it in the evening. It kind of let some of you people that are on the other side of the world participate. It is obviously recorded. Make sure you tag your teams in it afterwards. Uh, I will upload it to my YouTube channel, so I'll have that on here. But uh, you guys are fantastic. Keep up the great work. Uh, if you'll do today what others won't, you will live tomorrow like others can't, okay? So imagine yourself in a bigger place than you are today, and it will be so. So anyhow, vibing, I'm out. Boom, peace and love, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Thanks.